Look at this awesome working magic wand trick. As you can see, it has a really, really, really awesome effect. It looks even cooler with all the particles super big. Look at the cool trail it makes, wow. Uh, the particles are picking up the wand and then flying away. Um, I've never seen anything like this in Buildable ever. It's absolutely incredible, wow. Bro, look at this. <laughs> what? Look at this. So cool. And look at this, it looks so cool, wow. This is so much fun to play around with, oh my gosh. Just absolutely amazing. All right, first mixture blocks are anchored and to merge level to red. Then pile up three blocks, one, two, three. A seed on top and move the bottom three blocks. There we go. Now, don't send the seed yet. First place a sword, could be any sword. Equip that and remove this. Now place the sword thing again here. But don't equip it this time. Well, obviously you can't because you already have a sword. You'll see why we place another one here later. Okay, now equip the sword and then send the seat. Make sure you equip the sword before you send the seat. That way while sitting, you'll have the sword in the air like this. Unequip the sword, place the block on the seat, and then you can scale it like this. Just like that, as you can see. Now make your magic wand on the hand sticking out like this. Once you have a rough shape done, equip your sword and then you'll see how much it sticks out. So I gotta make my magic wand taller like this there we go i'm gonna rotate it with the travel tool select the rotate setting and set the scale number here to five and i'm gonna rotate it like this so now as you can see the sword is completely hidden when it's equipped here i'm actually gonna add a neon block at top there we go that looks cool oh by the way you can move this all right now select the magnet turn match rotation on and place the magnet facing up on the bottom of the wand like this as you can see, now select the magnet travel tool, select the move setting, and move it inside the wand, just like that. Pretty easy so far. Wait, I got something exciting to show you guys. I know you guys are Roblox players, and because of that, being a chat sometimes may get lonely. Don't worry, I got just a thing for you. Introducing Blux Buddies, the best Robux plushies money can buy at a very affordable price. They're big, cute, soft plushies and come in all different types. Do you remember when guests were a thing on Robux? Well, they're back in real life plushie form. Miss the OG Robux noobs? Boom, new plushie. Bacon here, right here. I even got one for myself. Here's a size comparison next to my YouTube play button. Go cop your plushie in the description below or at BloxBuddies.com. Alright, back to the video. Alright, now save. Okay, so now every time you load it in, Click the sword, I already have one so I don't have to click it. Equip it of course, and then send the seat. And now once you send the seat, this is gonna sound weird but it's actually the only way to make this an equipable wand. So with the sword selected right now, we're gonna reload again. And now as you can see you're standing. So when we deselect the sword and then when we select it again, as you can see our hand over there is beneath the wand. And we deselect it and the hand is gone. So if we exit the seat, we unanchor this. We walk away from the wand and we equip the sword. As you can see, we now have an equipable wand. You can also use this weapon trick to make, wait for it, flippable water bottles. Yeah, not even kidding. Thought it was cool enough to mention. So yeah. Let me reload, equip the sword again, send the seat, and reload once again like I said to do. Let's now make the actual magic particles work and follow the wand. So now, pretty easy and simple to set up. Just activate the magnet. Select any block, I'm gonna go with the neon block. Make sure anchor block is off though, so I'm gonna do that. Then place the block on top of the magnet bubble, like that, and it should be floating. If for some reason it's not floating, place another one on top of the magnet bubble, and another one, until we get a block that does float. Now select this block with a scale tool, make sure the scale number over here is 0.5, well actually it could be any size, and scale this block to be the size that you want the particles to be. Now anchor the block, clone it a couple times, and now pick these first few particles varying colors. You know what else is red? The subscribe button. Please like and subscribe. I post some awesome videos as you can see and it really helps me out. You won't regret it, trust me. Thanks. If you want, you can make a theme. For example, cyan, teal, green, and blue, since those are similar colors. Or you can do random or rainbow colors. Up to you. Personally, I really like how these colors look at the end. If you want, you can deactivate the magnet to make it a bit easier to clone, especially if you're in mobile. Clone these four particles or however many particles you have at this point until you have about 100 to 300 particles. If you have any more than 300, it can get really laggy. So just a warning. All right, I got 256 blocks here. That's more than enough, so let's continue. Now important, reactivate the magnet if you deactivated it before like me. Then select all these blocks with the screwdriver tool, make them uncollidable and then unanchor them. Otherwise, if you unanchor it before making it uncollidable, it'll be quite laggy to say the least. Now you can deactivate the magnet, make it invisible if you want, remove the sword, remove the seat, unanchor all, and when ready, walk away, equip the sword, and as you can see, it has a really, really, really awesome effect. But you can make it even cooler by doing this. So obviously you can eat a candy, and now before equipping it, if you go kind of far and then equip it, all the particles will go to you. And now if you kind of like equip and then unequip it, the particles will space themselves out. It looks even cooler with all the particles super big. Look at the cool trail it makes, wow. And then you have an awesome working magic wand. Now I'm gonna show you another magic wand trick using the snow cannon. Yeah, you heard me right. Make sure to watch the whole video because there's a lot to draw for the awesome magic wand tricks. Anyway, first unanchor blocks. 
place the snow cannon. Then you go inside the snow cannon, face directly up as far as you can. There we go. Should look like something like this. Now turn the metro station on and set the move setting over here to 0.5. Select the hinge and place it on top of the snow cannon facing down like this. As you can see. Then place the magnet facing up on the hinge, like that. Activate it. Alright, now anchor blocks. Make sure metro station is still on though. To select any block, I'm going to go with neon again like before, place it on top. But this time, as you can see, it's not going to drop down to the bubble because it's anchored. So from here, we're going to scale it like that or however small you want the particles to be. And then anchor it. And then once it floats in the bubble, anchor it again. Now paint the particles and like before, clone them until you have 100 to 300 particles. There we go. Unanchor this. Make them uncollidable. Now select the wooden block or really any block. Actually, I'm going to go with the neon block. Place it on a hinge over here. Select the scale tool, let's make it a uh, 0.5 in the scale setting. Scale like this, just like that. There we go. And now scale until it's like this. So not touching the middle of the magnet bubble where all the particles are, but close to it. Paint this whatever color you want. I'm gonna make it a bit lighter. Oh, if you don't get it by now, the stick that we're painting over here is the magic one itself. Now make the magnet and the hinge invisible and uncollidable. In fact, we can make everything collidable. And then make the snow cannon invisible as well, if you want. Oh, by the way, if you don't want the lightning symbols over here, you can just deactivate the magnet. And now, just unanchor all. Go into snow cannon and you now have a working controllable magic wand. And the particles follow you. And if you go crazy, uh, it does this. If you anchor all, and then add a dragon harpoon on the wand, just like that. Make that invisible and uncollidable. And then unanchor everything again. Then you go into snow cannon, you now can draw with the magic wand. Very interesting to say the least. Look at this. So cool. What if you make everything collidable though? Oh no, I know I'm gonna regret this. Um, wait, what? Um, what the heck? Uh, I attached it to the soccer ball using a hinge. And <laughs> look at this. It looks so cool. Wow. And if you're curious, this is how I attached it to the soccer ball. Oh, it's huge, huge thing like Faz over here. Finally, both of these awesome magic wand tricks. What if you make everything collidable though? Um, uh, oh no. It's something different thing is happening. Um, what is going on? Uh, where'd the wand go? Oh no. W what's happening? Oh no. Everything's coming towards me. Helicopter! Helicopter! And I accidentally unequipped the wand and, um, uh, the particles are picking up the wand and then flying away. Um, let me try to ride the particles and, um, that is not what I meant. Now we made the particles bigger and made myself bigger. It keeps getting cooler and cooler, honestly. Wow. Oh, that's cool, I can ride the particles and um, um, uh, where are these particles taking me? Um, I guess, did I? Wow. wow. If you make an all black room, then make everything have cast shadow off and close any gaps, then turn daylight off. Looks so cool in the dark, oh my gosh. Well, look at this in first person. Awesome. Everything looks even cooler when collidable, wow. Can you ride them when they're collidable? I kind of can. Um, 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 what is, what the hell, uh, uh, the particles are carrying the wand, and then following the wand, wait, what if we put a C on over the pixie disc particles, hmm, okay, it will work, oh, it will work, perfect, let's make the scene invisible, and uncollidable, and now if we sit in it, um, 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 what if I cook the wand while sitting in the seat, um, nothing happens, what if we make everything collidable though, I know it's gonna be a big mistake, but let's find out, three, two, one, nothing actually happened, um, 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 oh. I, I think they have a mind of their own, what the hell is happening? What? Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more awesome billboard videos like this. And watch another one of my really awesome videos on screen. Trust me, you'll want to check that out. See you next video. Bye guys.